Hey, my name is HVAC. I'm a DJ, producer, record label owner. Uh, from Montreal, we're here in Brooklyn, where I live now, at the Fool's Gold Shop. This is my label in my shop. I mean, Fool's Gold, first of all, is a small family, small unit, and uh, it started with a couple friends uh, that we just decided to start a record label together. We definitely value knowledge here. Everybody here is like a little mini encyclopedia. And it's always, we're trading ideas back and forth and brainstorming and, and really making our, our own way. You know, this idea of, you know, not just putting out music, but, but having the freshest t-shirts, the best caps and everything, and, and, and artwork and everything, stuff that people can hang up at their house. For every DJ to have a crate in their collection at home that's just fools with all our releases. Like, that's, that's just the, really the mentality bringing it back to these classic labels that when we were starting to DJ, we would just go, just go to a shop and be like, oh, there's a new release on, you know, Raucous? Must be good, let me pick it up. So it's, you know, bringing back that mentality. It just makes sense as a package because it's, you know, it's, it's people with similar ideals and, and, and mentality. And, and we all sort of look like this sort of bunch of misfits that couldn't really find a place elsewhere, but it comes together and this, you know, there's strength in numbers. When I feel most in the zone is really when I'm just working on music. Like, there's no other way. As, uh, as exciting as it is to come here and, and work on, on Fool's Gold projects with my partners and stuff, uh, there's nothing that really compares to the sort of like sense of like, uh, almost like levitation, like you're not even really there that you can get when you're working on music. And for me, there's even two aspects to that. Part of that is practicing my DJing, part of it is producing music, you know? When I get lost in my DJing, it's almost like meditation, like I'm just not even thinking. When I'm producing, it's like I'm, I'm concentrated, but, uh, but nothing else Nothing else is like there, everything else is blocked up. I think, you know, people ask me like where I get my inspiration from, and it's like, you know, a handful of DJs and producers that inspire me. It's more of a grand vision, I think, of like, oh, I saw a great exhibit at the museum. I want to go home and make music. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, this, this, this movie is dope. How do I provoke that emotion? Like, things like that that are more on the level of, like, expressing yourself and being creative. And I think humor is important in, 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 in what we do, whether it be, I mean, not even, whether it be music or, or art or even what's on the wall here or whatever. It's like, to me, like, some of the smartest, most creative people have the best senses of humor too, because that, that's an expression of cleverness too. And I think humor is a way to sort of express your individualities. And, and, the, and there's a, definitely a fine line where you don't want to be like a prankster. Do you know what I mean? But I think, again, like we we're talking about the Beastie Boys, they kind of wrote the book on that, on how to be smart asses without, well, you know, without being discounted as just purely jokesters. If I see someone you know, show a, a level of individuality in, in something completely unrelated to my craft, it'll still spark a little light bulb in my head of like, individuality is dope, that's what I stand for. Let me go and do something different too. So like, it's more indirect like that. And, and uh, you know, I think that's where things are interesting too, because then you can have a dialogue between different mediums and different types of artists. And, and it's just like, the, 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 the common, the shared value is just creativity, period. A lot of what I've done in my DJ career and what we've done with Fool's Gold is sort of, I would even say doing things that we're not supposed to do. It's, it's, it goes beyond doing what people might be skeptical about. It's just straight out going the opposite way. You know what I mean? Like I, I got, came, on, came on the scene winning the World DJ Championship when I was 15. It's not even on some like, oh, that's surprising. It's like no one's supposed to enter these battles unless you're like 20 something and been playing in clubs for years. So it's like really, it's part of it's being stubborn, I think, <laughs> and a little bit overconfident being like, ah, I can do it. But, and, and, but you know, there's no harm in a bit of overconfidence when it actually just fuels, when it fuels the right values, when it, when it turns into motivation and hard work and, you know, just going full steam till you reach your goals. If the responsibility is on us to make sure that, that we're on top of our craft. So as long as everyone is taking that seriously, um, then there's a ton of power there because we can, you know, we can make our own records, we can make our own clothing lines, we can draw our own designs and whatever, whatever we want to do um, and, and let people come to us. I'm, I'm 30 now, I, I, uh, I came on the scene when I was 15 and really I was already practicing for a year or two before that so I've really been doing 
practicing this craft and, and, and making music um, for more than half my life. And you know, that's something that I think about often because I've seen a lot of people come and go and when you're able to really tap into what makes you you and, and you know, what's your, what's your individual touch, whether it be sonically, artistically, whatever, then you start, you learn how to magnify that, you learn how to really hone in on that, develop it, nurture it. And, and then you can really find a place. And, and there's, there's nothing more valuable in the world nowadays than someone that can offer something unique. Because then other people are, will be like, I'm gonna go to this person for this, for something really specific. And, and, uh, and then you, you, know, you have a place in the world. You, can, you contribute to something and then and you probably make people happy too. And that's, you know, isn't that what, <laughs> why we do what we do? Oh!